Today, we're learning how to match fractions to a number line. Let's identify which of these number lines is showing the fraction 2 thirds. Well, the numerator of 2 indicates there should be two shaded parts or sections of the number line. Let's find the number lines that only have two shaded parts. I can look at the first number line and see each part separated by the dashes. There are a total of one, two, three shaded parts. That means this number line can't be correct. Our number line needs to only have two shaded parts. This next number line has one, two shaded parts. So maybe this is it. This next number line also has two parts. So maybe this one is it as well. This last number line only has one shaded part. So it can't be this last number line. Now we have narrowed down our options, and one of these two number lines is correct. The next thing I'm going to look at is our denominator. Our denominator is 3, which means there should be a total of 3 parts between 0 and 1 on the number line. When we look at the first number line, we see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4 parts, and our number line was supposed to have 3. That means this number line can't be correct. When we look at the next number line, we see that there are 1, 2, 3 parts. This is correct. This number line correctly shows 2 thirds. Now let's practice together. Let's identify which of these number lines shows the fraction 1 fifth. Well, we can start by looking for number lines that have only one part shaded. Select all of the number lines that have one part shaded. These two number lines both have one part shaded, so they could be correct. This one has two shaded parts, so it can't be correct. And this last one has four shaded parts, so it can't be correct either. Next we look at the denominator of 5. This means there should be a total of 5 parts between 0 and 1. Which of the remaining number lines have a total of 5 parts? This number line has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 parts. That's it. This next one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 parts. That's not correct. This is the only number line that shows 1 fifth. Here's another practice problem. Which of these number lines shows the fraction 3 sixths? Well, first I see the numerator of 3. What does this mean? The numerator of 3 means that there should be 3 shaded parts on our number line. Which number lines have three shaded parts? We can see that these three number lines all have three shaded parts. This last one has one, two shaded parts, so it can't be correct. Next, we look at the denominator of six. What does this mean? This means our number line will have a total of six parts between zero and one. Which of the remaining number lines has a total of six parts? This is the only number line that has a total of six parts. This is the correct answer. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. Which of these number lines shows the fraction three-fourths? The numerator of three means there are three shaded parts on our number line. These two number lines have three shaded parts. The others don't. Next, we see the denominator of four, so we need to find a number line that has a total of four parts between zero and one. This is our correct number line because it is the only one that has four total parts. Now here's your last problem for this video. Which number line shows the fraction two eighths? The numerator of two means we should have two shaded parts. It turns out that all of these number lines have two shaded parts. Okay. So the next thing to look at is the denominator of 8, which means our number line has 8 total parts. If you count carefully, you can see that only this number line has 8 total parts. The other number lines do not have 8 total parts, so they are not correct. Now you know how to match a fraction to a number line. Great job!